And here's you with Chad Robichaux. Picture yourself as like a 20 year old uh, humanitarian worker. She has her blue passport. She has to go to show it to a, a Taliban fighter with an AK-47 who's murdering people in the street, by the way, because they were cutting people's body parts off in the street. That's just not going to happen. So for the White House to say to the Americans, hey, you mustn't want to leave unless you're going to willing to go through this checkpoint in front of this Taliban. And then you get, if you could get past, now you're going to make it through a th crowd of 100,000 people. And the level of chaos was like people were literally being stomped and trampled to death uh, in, in, the, in the mud. President doesn't want to take a briefing on the greatest president in the history of the world sitting right there. I love that guy. And let's take that. You know who? Let's go brand the out of power and replace him. <laughs> Talking a little politics in the octagon. UFC superstar Jorge Masvidal call, going out with a political bank, so to speak, as his announced his retirement following a 20 year career uh, in the octagon, in the ring. The superstar, known as mayor of Miami, lives in Florida, also calling Ron DeSantis the greatest governor of all time. Jorge joins us now. Jorge